Morris here with Quantum Command, and what I just want to show you today is how muscle testing can help you with the products that you already have at home. Um, one of the most common challenges with products that you have, either at supplements or it could be um, like oils or homeopathy, is that you don't know what to take for what you're, go what you're going through. It's kind of hit and miss, and you're not sure how much to Muscle testing really can streamline that, so you don't have a lot of waste um, for the different oils that you have, the different homeopathy, or even um, it helps you really strategize with what kind of supplements to take. Like, is this going to work for this? Is that going to work for that? And it really minimizes waste. And it also, as kind of a secondary benefit, you end up learning, oh, well, this is good for this, and this is good for that, and you can help other people. Um, when they're dosing out their oils or their homeopathy. Um, so what we're going to do today is uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of ways to do that, the way to do that. Um, and this is what you would learn in the muscle testing class. If you were to take it, we're going to you know, start working on that um, next year. I'm going to launch some classes. You'll be able to, to, to check out how we do this. So I'm going to kind of scoot my oils a little closer to me so you can see them. So these are just the oils that I have. I don't really have a very big selection. Um, I was navigating something this year and it was increasing hormones, the pathogen was. So I was just navigating some of these oils earlier this year. I by no means have, you know, the huge amount that a lot of people have with doTERRA and Young Living. They have a large collection. So I understand that this is not all I could use. This is just what I have right on hand on me. Um, and I'll probably expand it over the next year as, you know, I kind of learn a little bit more about it. But I don't use oils primarily, um, mainly because when I get a pathogen or a toxin, I quantumly release it, which is what everybody else does when they're my client. You're going to quantumly release those pathogens. And the only thing you have to really deal with is the, the, the kind of quiet after effects, maybe some lethargy or fatigue. That's basically what I have. We had a pathogen that hit our house. Even though we quantumly released it, um, because of the heavy load, it was a high pathogen load, we ended up kind of feeling a little not great. I mean, we're not sick and we're not like clogged up. We just kind of are tired and maybe have a headache, maybe have some very light body aches. But when you have felt good, like a lot of my clients, because they feel good so often, they notice what it's like to feel even a little bit under the weather, even though they're quantumly releasing those pathogens. So sometimes oils or homeopathy can kind of help mitigate that little after effect um, that the body's feeling because the lymph system does still react even though you know when you breathe in a pathogen the lymph system reacts and goes ah there's a pathogen the body quantumly releases it it's no longer there like literally no longer there but the lymph system is still sort of in reactivity mode so something like oils can really help kind of quiet the lymph system help you recover a little bit quicker so what you do is you can ask which of these are beneficial the word beneficial is really important to the body at this time all right so and again I teach this in the classes that we do there's three levels of testing is beneficial neutral no no effect not bad not good just no effect and detrimental actively harming the body um, that's a lot a lot of times that's like with pharmaceuticals or herbs that are hormone disruptors um, that's just a couple examples now I've already put oils on today this morning so I know because I've tested this out before that I probably won't need them for another 12 hours um, so what I'm gonna do is just test them actually it might actually be six hours I can't remember how often I need them but um, I'm going to test them for the next 24 hours so you can kind of get a sense of what the body's going to say is going to be beneficial to helping me come back off this recoil of the this pathogen that we got in the last couple of days. So it's a really easy question. So I'm just going to try and get you to see my testing in the process and I'm going to touch them. You're not going to, I'm just going to touch each one and I'll get either a yes or a no and then I'll show you which ones I got yes for and which ones I got no for. If I get a no, it doesn't mean that they're bad for the body. It just means for this particular situation that I'm dealing with, it's not going to benefit the body. It's not going to actively help the body. But if it tests as beneficial, then it's going to be actively helping the body in the situation that it's in right now. Um, none of these would test detrimental. I've never tested a Young Living or doTERRA oil ever that has been detrimental or harmful for the body. I really trust their sourcing. Um, and I've never had um, a client who has brought me a Young Living or doTERRA product 
and I muscle tested and it turned bad and it's been detrimental. Never. I've never had that happen. I really trust those two companies. I just haven't had Young Living Oils because the nearest warm body next to me that sells them, you know, wanted some oils and so I just tried them. So I don't, you know, look at either one of the companies as being more favorable than the other. It's just all about preference, I think, and what kind of blends you like from each one. So this is what we're going to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump in. So here's my testing, yeses and noes, right? I'm not feeling it. Somebody mentioned on one of the uh, last videos I did, is she feeling it? Is that what's going on? I'm not feeling it. I'm getting yes or no answers from the body in a reflexive way. Um, so, okay, so here we go. So I want to be well, I want to be sick, and I'll say, which of the following would be beneficial to the body in the next 24 hours? This, okay, I'll put that aside. This, yep, I'm getting a yes. This, no. This, no. This, Ooh, oregano, okay. Oops, I know that one's not. The, uh, this rosemary, no. This, yep, I'm getting a yes, and this. Okay, so these two sections, so these are the ones that are not beneficial, they're not bad, but they're just not gonna help me with this particular issue, and those were clove, black pepper, rosemary, and this is a doTERRA Digest Zen. That makes sense. You know, there's digestion is not going to help with the respiratory or lymphatic issues, likely. Um, but you never know. So that's why you always test. So these are the ones I don't need right now. These are the ones of the body saying, yep, I would really like these. So this is a massage oil from Young Living. This is the Thieves Oil. And that's probably helping the lymphatic system and the respiratory system relax. This is winter, this is winter green. The lid's off. This is winter green. And then this is oregano. That actually makes sense because I've used oregano for other things, other whiplash effects from other pathogens that I've picked up in the past. So now I can dose them and I'll say how many drops would be beneficial to the body in the next 24 hours. And then I would say, you know, more than one, more than two. Usually it's one or two, depending on the blend that you've got there. So that's a way that you can minimize waste with muscle testing is you can get more information from the body about what's going on. It's really, really helpful. And um, you end up being able to utilize your oils or your homeopathy or your nutrients and you don't waste them. And you can pinpoint what is the most beneficial. So I hope that helps. Grab my website if you are interested in some of this work. It's Quantum Command, www.quantumcommand.net. You can check me out on Facebook. I'm trying to be more active on social media at this point trying to post more videos and give some more hints and tips for muscle testing. So that's an example. Use the words that I use. If you know how to muscle test or you're trying the sway test, which we can talk about another video, but if you know the sway test and you're trying that out, use the words that I use because the words are really important. Things like beneficial and at this time. So a lot of this information you'd get in my training um, and uh, I'll be posting that again at the beginning of the year. We'll start to set dates for online muscle testing classes. So I hope that helps and I hope you guys have a great new year. Bye.